Now, currency manipulation is something you and I have talked about for a long time that deals with trade. It plays right into the products that we're talking about that need to be used in a transportation bill. Uh, there's really only two Republican candidates out there that are talking about currency manipulation, and that's Trump, and to his credit, Rick Santorum, who made it a big conversation uh, back in 2012, and by the way, he did win Iowa. Uh, this is this is Trump talking about currency manipulation and how it has to be addressed. Our our country is not competitive anymore. That's why we're losing all of the manufacturing. Now, it's currency manipulation and all of those things that I talked about last night. A lot of currency manipulation. They are doing it brilliantly in China. Mm -hmm. China is a tremendous abuser of the United States. I said the other day, in the history of the world, there has never been a greater theft than what the United States has, you know, we, how we've been taken care of by China. All right, China now, now that statement right there is, is a mouthful. And it speaks volumes about the problem of what we're facing in manufacturing. But he's really the only one along with Santorum. But, uh, do you think they're strong enough to change the conversation and, and make the Republicans realize that this is really a bipartisan effort that's got to be done? Ed, it's a great question. And, and I'll just tell you what I know. I know that uh, Republican voters, like Democratic voters and independent voters, care about this issue. They, they, they want something done about currency manipulation. And, and, and when I'm saying this, I mean overwhelmingly. It's not even close. Like, you'll find Republicans that are kind of evenly divided on the immigration question, even though their field certainly doesn't really represent that. On currency manipulation, there's no doubt. They want it to be taken care of. And you'll remember, uh, I mean, Donald Trump said something that Mitt Romney said in 2012. I'll, I'll designate China the currency manipulator on day one. Now, it's easier to say those things than it is to actually get them done. So what I'd like to see, instead of kind of using, you know, the drive-by photo op of the factories that, that a lot of these uh, men and women running for office tend to do, is, is a, a detailed conversation about what we need to make manufacturing more competitive. And I, I don't blame the Chinese government for looking out for their own interests. I, I don't blame them at all. I mean, I have many quarrels with how they deal with human rights and other issues like that. But my problem is with the U.S. government and the fact that we have not pushed back at all. And it's something that President Obama complained about when he took office. He said, I've been dealt a bad hand on, Ch a bad hand on China, but I will push back. And I, just, I haven't seen it, Ed. I mean, he's, he's, done, he's done right by trade cases when, uh, when, when, when uh, companies have brought them forward, when the steelworkers have, have brought them forward. He, he, he's done right by them. Uh, but we need more than that. We need a really aggressive push to lower that trade deficit, to bring those manufacturing jobs back, and to make sure that China and other countries, and by other countries I mean that some of those countries in the TPP, uh, have also manipulated their currencies to gain a trade advantage. Japan, Malaysia, Singapore, Vietnam. We need to make sure that that stopped as part of the TPP as well. So I hope there's a, there, there's a, there's a more robust conversation about it. I know that uh, uh, Hillary Clinton feels strongly about it. I know that Bernie Sanders feels strongly about it. I know that Martin O'Malley uh, feels very strongly about it. So I think that there's there's agreement among the Democratic uh, field uh, about this uh, about currency in particular uh, as a big issue, which is good to see. Mm -hmm. And that cuts right to the chase of it all. Scott Paul, always a pleasure to visit with you. President Alliance for American Manufacturing. We'll do it again. Thanks so much. Ed, have a great one. You bet. Hopefully this will be a big conversation with the Democrats on Saturday night this weekend in Des Moines, Iowa, for another Democratic debate, which is going to be on CBS.